I'd like to show you how to use the measure tool in QGIS 3. It is useful for measuring distances broadly across maps for checking things out or measuring areas. Although you would probably use the analytical tools that we'll go through later if you wanted to measure the lengths or areas of polygons or arcs or those sorts of things and save them in a table. We're using it here to show how map projections distort a surface so that the ground distance gets converted to different map scale distances. So I have a Albers projection here for the lower 48, which does a reasonably good job of representing the true geometry. If I want to measure the distance from Los Angeles to New York, I can use the measure tool to click between them and draw an arc. Now the measure tool is this ruler. It's usually parked up here to the right, but this is a dockable toolbar and I wanted a small screen here, so I moved it down. Nonetheless, you'll see it with this cluster. And so if I click to open the measure tool, it opens a window that allows you to draw segments. Now it gives you the distance by default in the units of the projection, in this case meters, but we'll change those to kilometers. And then I can take and click on a location, and as I drag, you see this number here increase. So if I go from New York to Los Angeles here, you see it's 3,931.69 kilometers, although really the 3,931. If I wanted to keep on measuring distances, I could click and click around, and it gives me segment lengths and then the total length down here. So I'm going to close that. Now if we go back to our projects and go to properties and change the coordinate system to this Google Maps Global Mercator, and I'll just apply that. Um, you can see it changes the shape, but it's not apparent that it also distorts differently. So if I go back and use my measure tool again and click and measure down, oops, this is in the way, to Los Angeles, the distance is much larger now. The distance becomes, if I change it to kilometers, 5,000 kilometers. So it goes from in the threes to in the fives just with a change in the map projection. The distance on the ground, if you were to walk from Los Angeles to New York in a straight line across the globe would not change, but by changing the map projection here, we've changed the apparent distance scale on the map. It's an example of how different map projections distort the world differently. And you choose a map projection that preserves the characteristics you're interested in but you can't preserve those everywhere. So if you maintain the shape or distance measures in one area, you have to force the distortions out to a different area.